starting off with a, a B175 in device size 10. You can tie this in a 12 as well. And just come in and get in a better tying thread. About to a point near the barb. And then this is the stuff that makes a fly. This in the mosaic, obviously. It's a UV pedal. It's large. And I'll just tie him in at the top of the hook shank. Covering that. Tying a little bit there. And then just wind him back up, basically. He's touching turns. You can put varnish on it. It's pretty robust stuff. Touching turns all the way up. Giving yourself a little bit of space at the head of the fly to work with. Cormorant's got a slim wing, so you want marabou, but you don't want loads of the stuff. You want maybe width of your thumb and then spin it and your thumb and forefinger. Actually, probably a little bit more than that. Catch it in the same area. Like so. And then in with your scissors, spin that and then snip it. Spin it to tighten it. So you've got a little less to cut. Oh, Stephen. These things happen when you're fly tying. Luckily, I never lost everything. Just come back in over that thread. It's a great example of not panicking. So let's get some more marabout. And then just thin them off. I could tidy that head up in a second. Pinch and loop. Secure him in. All right, let's try this again. So, pull some of these fibers back. And you want the wing just a little bit half again of the the um, the body. Now for the crucial stuff. You didn't sneeze when you're using this mosaic. You need a lot strong to the other side. So what I do is I cut about two inches and I'll show you this really close up. If you see, see the little hairs coming off of that? That's supporting fibers. Get rid of them. Do you need them? You just want the flat mosaic. And all we're doing is we're coming in. I'll do your side first. Coming in same length as the wing at a 45 degree angle. See what that's looking like? Yep. And then trim away. And I'm doing exactly the same on this side, 45 degree angle. So it sits back with the wing. My thread spun a bit there. So trim that away as close as you do it. So I'm just getting my jungle coat ready. I prefer orange on this fly because it's a back end fly. I'm just gonna tilt this a little bit so I can see exactly where I'm getting my JC on. That's spot on there. Come in, tidy up. Let's turn this back. Just that bit done. Get another bit here. Just 
just a bit on the fiddly side, that's for sure. So both my jungle cocks on exactly where I want it. And now it's just a case of tidying up the head. A lot of stray fibre there. So we just come in, whip finish, make sure all the orange is covered, nice and tight. And then, if I just wet that, you'll see. And my varnish. Either side. And that's him. The UV Mosaic Cormorant. A great fly for back end fishing on the reservoirs. I really hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, Please be kind enough to subscribe to my channel. Plenty more fly fishing and fly time videos on there. Take care, folks, and bye-bye.